This is the second of the recent Captain America movies. The first, Captain America, the first Avenger, had a strong patriotic feel, largely anchored to the World War II era. But the new film, Captain America Winter Soldier, reminds us that patriotism may involve standing up to authorities with hidden agendas. In case you're new to the Captain America franchise, the comic book hero first appeared in the 1940s. Steve Rogers was a 98-pound weakling, desperately wanting to fight for his country. He finally got his wish when government scientists used an experimental technology that turned him into a super soldier. His nemesis was Hydra, an offshoot of the Nazis. Rogers' plane crashed in the frozen north where he was not discovered until recent times. Once unfrozen, Captain America found himself outside his familiar 1940s world. That brings us to how the movie deals with political issues we face in the real world today. Hydra learned from World War II that overtly trying to enslave people only made them want to fight back. So now the fictional agency is trying to foment chaos in order to get people to gladly give up their rights to the New World Order. That sounds like the false flag shootings perpetrated to ban gun ownership. In the movie, Hydra brainwashes a friend of Captain America's to do the publicly seen dirty work. Similarly, many of the identified gunmen and nationally publicized real-life shootings appear to have been brainwashed. Captain America Winter Soldier is also the first time I remember a Hollywood film mentioning Project Paperclip. It was a real-life government effort that smuggled scientists with Nazi backgrounds into the U.S. to continue their secret research. In the movie, Hydra infiltrated the good guy agency, known as S.H.I.E.L.D. Finally, Hydra wants to launch three large aircraft, almost like battleships, that could constantly stay overhead thanks to a new technology. They would be used for spying and killing off enemies who were pretty broadly defined. Just a few days ago, in the real world, Stratobus announced plans for dirigible drones as long as a football field that would float 14 miles high. Captain America Winter Soldier has a darker tone than the first movie. It goes beyond simple patriotism to exploring the dark underbelly of the security state. I guess you could say that Captain America really is fighting for our country because his fictional story exposes hidden dangers we all face today. This is Steve Eastman reporting. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.